Hello, this is the Introduction to Soil Building video. This video will have three components that will show permaculture practices towards building a rich and healthy soil. The first component will be how to sow your cover crop and why cover crops are important. The second component will be adding organic matter to your soil. And the final component will show how to sheet mulch. In this video we will discuss the importance of cover crops. Right now we're going to be seeding our hairy vetch cover crop which is a nitrogen fixer and it's very hardy so it'll survive over the winter and it'll also help us with our organic matter content in our plot back here. So we're going to go ahead and just spread it around a 20 foot by 20 foot spot that we want to use. Typically if you are spreading cover crop for acreage you want 15 to 20 pounds per acre but we're just doing a small spot here so we're doing about three pounds of hairy vetch in our 2,000 square foot plot. Okay so there are different mechanisms that you can use to spread this. Uh, there are seed bag spreaders but what you want to do is just evenly spread the seeds throughout. There are different mechanisms that you can use to spread this uh, there are seed bag spreaders, but what you want to do is just evenly spread the seeds throughout throughout your spot. And more is always good. The second part of this video focuses on adding organic matter to build your soil. Permaculture focuses heavily on adding organic matter to the soil in order to build it as well as fertilize it. One of those components or types of organic matter that you can add to your soil is worm castings. Worm castings are a super helpful fertilizer because they provide the nutrients that the plant needs, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium as well as providing some trace minerals that those plants can't get very easily. So I have a bucket of worm castings here that I was given. They were from some red wiggler worms, which are some of the most efficient worms for worm castings. They are so efficient because they eat their weight in waste or soil per day. You can buy red wiggler worms from a nursery or from a local farm or garden, or you can buy worm castings from a local nursery. But you can also try to attract your red wiggler worms by creating a compost pile or some sort of decaying matter and leaves, which is their natural habitat. And they like habitats that are not too moist and not too dry. Another component of building organic matter is creating compost piles. Compost piles can be created in large quantities or in small quantities. Here's an example of a small compost pile created for school. The way that you create a compost pile is you add equal amounts of browns and greens of waste materials. So browns are your fall leaves, straw, hay, dried grass clippings, and greens are typically vegetable waste, egg shells, peanut shells, anything that comes from your kitchen. Then you turn the compost pile and you make sure it gets up to a temperature of 160 degrees. That's the temperature at which it will decompose and you can have microorganisms decomposing your waste and turning it into soil. Your compost pile may need to be moistened often in order to start the decomposing process. Compost is an essential part to creating a permaculture system. Another essential part of creating or building soil is using manure from various different animal integration. Here's an example of using chicken manure. Chicken manure as well as goat manure are two very viable sources of nutrients for your soil. They have an NPK that is low enough that it won't affect burning your plants because it doesn't have a very high amount of nitrogen.
All three of these examples are great ways to add organic matter in order to build your soil. The final component to this video is the sheet mulching technique. Sheet mulching is similar to lasagna gardening in that you add layers of different organic matter that will break down and build up your soil. The way that you sheet mulch is you put down one layer of either newspaper or cardboard that acts as a la base layer. It can suppress your weeds as well as attract those worms and microorganisms up to break it down because it creates a dark moist habitat for them. The second layer is adding either your compost, your manure, some sort of topsoil, and then you can add various layers of greens and browns, just as if you were composting, but instead you lay the materials out in sheets to cover the whole area. Sheet mulching is a way to create a very nutrient rich soil as well as continue to build that yeah. soil and create somewhat of a strong structure for your soil instead of tilling it and breaking it down every year. All three of these techniques are very important to soil building. Please keep in mind that cover crops, adding organic matter, and sheet mulching will be pertinent to this unit.